Digital Supply Chain Security Digital Supply Chain Security refers to efforts to enhance cybersecurity within the supply chain. It is a subset of supply chain security and is focused on the management of cybersecurity requirements for information technology systems, software and networks, which are driven by threats such as cyber terrorism, malware, data theft and the advanced persistent threat APT. Typical supply chain cybersecurity activities for minimizing risks include buying only from trusted vendors, disconnecting critical machines from outside networks, and educating users on the threats and protective measures they can take. The Acting Deputy Undersecretary for the National Protection and Programs Directorate for the United States Department of Homeland Security, Craig Schaffer, stated at a hearing that he is aware that there are instances where malware has been found on imported electronic and computer devices sold within the United States. Examples of Supply Chain Cybersecurity Threats Network or computer hardware that is delivered with malware installed on it already. Malware that is inserted into software or hardware by various means vulnerabilities in software applications and networks within the supply chain that are discovered by malicious hackers counterfeit computer hardware. Related to U.S. government efforts. Comprehensive National Cyber Initiative Defense Procurement Regulations, noted in Section 806 of the National Defense Authorization Act International Strategy for Cyberspace, White House lays out for the first time the U.S. as vision for a secure and open Internet. The strategy outlines three main themes, diplomacy, development, and defense. Asterisk diplomacy, the strategy sets out to promote an open, interoperable, secure, and reliable information and communication infrastructure. Asterisk development through this strategy, the government seeks to facilitate cybersecurity capacity building abroad. The objective is to protect the global IT infrastructure and to build closer international partnerships to sustain open and secure networks. Asterisk Defense, the strategy calls out that the government will ensure that the risks associated with attacking or exploiting our networks vastly outweigh the potential benefits, and calls for all nations to investigate related government efforts around the world. Common criteria offers with the valuation assurance level yield for an opportunity to evaluate all relevant aspects of the digital supply chain security like the product, the development environment, IT systems security, the processes and human resource, physical security, and with the module ALC FLR 3 systematic for remediation also security update processes and methods even by physical site visits. The AEL-4 is mutually recognized in countries that signed the SOGAS, MRA, and up to LA-2 in countries that signed the CROP, but including alc 3 Russia, Russia has had non-disclosed functionality certification requirements for several years and has recently initiated the national software platform effort based on open source software. This reflects the apparent desire for national autonomy, reducing dependence on foreign suppliers. India, Recognition of Supply Chain Risk at Straf National Cybersecurity Strategy Rather than targeting specific products for exclusion, it is considering indigenous innovation policies, giving preferences to domestic ITC suppliers in order to create a robust, globally competitive national presence in the sector. China Deriving from goals in the 11th Five-Year Plan 2006-2010, China introduced and pursued a mix of security-focused and aggressive indigenous innovation policies. China is requiring an indigenous innovation product catalog be used for its government procurement and implementing a multi-level protection scheme MLPS, which requires, among other things, product developers and manufacturers to be Chinese citizens or legal persons, and product core technology and key components must have independent Chinese or indigenous intellectual property rights. Private Sector Efforts SLSA Supply Chain Levels for Software Artifacts is an end-to-end framework for ensuring the integrity of software artifacts throughout the software supply chain. The requirements are inspired by Google's internal binary authorization for board that has been in use for the past eight plus years and that is mandatory for all of Google's production workloads. The goal of SLSA is to improve the state of the industry, particularly open source, to defend against the most pressing integrity threats.
With SLSA, consumers can make informed choices about the security posture of the software they consume. Other references Financial Sector Information Sharing and Analysis Center International Strategy for Cyberspace from the White House and Stick Safe Go White Paper Trusted Technology Forum in the Open Trusted Technology Provider Standard of GDPS Cyber Supply Chain Security Solution Malware Implants in Firmware Supply Chain in the Software Era Information and Communications Technology Supply Chain Risk Management Task Force Interim Report